Hi guys, this is Spartan765, and today I'm just doing a video on, um, another video on my Ruger LC9. Um, this video consists of, uh, just basically the fact that just now, about two minutes ago, I removed a little, uh, magazine trigger safety, or trigger safety on here. You see, it's unloaded. Um, what the magazine trigger safety is, for those of you guys who don't, aren't familiar with the Ruger LC9, it makes it so you cannot pull the trigger unless the magazine is in. And what that is, is it's just this little tab that fits right, that fits literally like, like this, pretend it's in the gun, and that locks the trigger so when you put the magazine in, it moves the tab back and allows the trigger to uh, be pulled. Now I just think that's a senseless safety. I mean, and it's there's no point in that at all. I mean, it doesn't even make sense practically. Why would you, why would it matter if you pulled the trigger if there wasn't a magazine in? I mean, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't hurt the gun to dry fire at any. It's a center fire handgun, so. I mean, the only thing you gotta worry about with dry firing is if you got a cast firing pin on center fire or just rim fire. Um, but yeah. To take the, uh, the, the uh, little magazine safety out of here, it is, it, it's not nearly as irritating as it may look um, compared to some of the guns I've worked on before. I mean, this is just a piece of cake. Um, I, I was going to make a video on it, but I didn't because I don't have a camera right now. All I'm using is my webcam. Um, and to try and make a disassembly video with a webcam is just a pain in the I mean, it's not like a movable webcam. It's one that's actually attached to my laptop permanently. Um, so, unfortunately, I can't do that for you guys right now. But I will be hopefully getting a camera here within the next week. Because I'm going to get back into making YouTube videos every day. Something I haven't done in a while. Um, then I'll be able to make that video for you if you want to see it. Um, but all you pretty much do, obviously, you just take the slide off. Pop that down and pull the slide back about a millimeter and let that little pin fall out. It slides off. Then pop out these two pins here and here. And in the magazine, this thing lifts up. You just take any of those pliers in there, lift the spring up and let it go down, and you just pull the receiver assembly out of the frame. Um, and then from there on out, you just have to take off the, uh, the trigger bar, take off the uh, trigger bar spring. And then pop the pin out, and then pull, pull the trigger out, and then slide that piece out, and then just reassemble. It's really simple, and don't go, you know, don't send me any messages saying, hey, well, that was a very detailed video on how to take it apart. I just told you I did it. I can't do a video on it because it would be damn near impossible to do a good disassembly video um, with a webcam on a laptop. And the frame rate, as you can see, is really shitty on here, so and everything is reversed like that you guys are probably thinking there's like a left-handed shotgun that's a right-handed shotgun I don't know why like like that is the right side of the room that is the left side of the room I don't know why the webcam is like reversed everything if anybody has any information on that or why it does that or how to switch that up let me know because I think that's really irritating um, yeah like uh, like when I carry my carry gun, looking at it, you think, oh, that's his left hand. No, no. This is my right hand. So it's reversed and it's really irritating, especially if I need to do a disassembly video or a detailed video. It can confuse people, and I don't want that. So I mean, the last thing I want is you know, someone accidentally screwing something up with their gun. Um, but yeah, just figured I would. Uh, and I'll show you guys that with the Ruger LC9. And again, it's just this little tiny piece right here. All it is is it's just a trigger trigger lock. You know, when you put it in the gun, just like I showed you in the gun earlier, this, this magazine literally moves up and pushes that out. And the other piece that'll come out is just the little, the little tiny spring that attaches to it right on there. Um, it would be a good idea to keep these if you decide to take it out just because of the plain fact that if you do ever have to, like your gun has to get sent in for warranty work or the firearm, 
you know, breaks under warranty and you either don't know how to fix it or don't have the resources or tools to fix it, you want to send that back into Ruger, that'll avoid your warranty if you take that out. Like, if they you send it in and they see that's taken out, they're not going to... They'll make you pay to put it back in and they might not even send the gun back to you. They might, you know... Um, you know, you're probably going to get an angry phone call telling them, them saying, hey, you altered the gun, you know, we're not, we're not, you know fix your gun anymore um yeah so keep that piece a little spare gun parts bag here you know something I have a bunch of different little containers with different type, types of gun parts and put it in there and save it you know if you ever need to put it back in I mean if you ever for some reason go to California um you're gonna need to put it back in because it has to be in for the gun to be legal in California um you know then again I'm never going to go to California because I hate California. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's the basic video on what I did there and what the effect of it is. And obviously, like I said, magazine out, Ruger LC9, you can pull the trigger. I was trying not to do some slam fire, but it doesn't hurt it any, but still. And you pull the trigger without the magazine in. Okay, any comments, questions, send me a message, Spartan765 out.